it's Rachel welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome today we are doing a review that I am so excited for it is on the Kylie holiday lip trio I've never tried Kylie products before and this has three different lip formulas in it so I'm really excited to see what these are like as you all know Kylie cosmetics is owned by Kylie Jenner and her products are very, very hyped up, and when her lip kits first came out, they were like all the rage, but I never got on that train. So I'm getting on that train now, and we're going to swatch them on my lips and try them out and see what I think. So first of all, this is the packaging. It's really, really adorable. Kylie always nails the packaging, and it comes with three full-size lipsticks. Posy K is a velvet. It is this one right here. Cupcake is a gloss. And One Wish is a matte. So I'm gonna wipe this off, zoom you guys in, and we'll get to trying these on and swatching them and seeing what I think. So I'm gonna start by applying chapstick because I always apply chapstick under my liquid lipsticks. And this is just the Jack Black Fresh Mint Chapstick. And then I'm going to start with applying One Wish, the matte. That has the typical, like, I would say, like, vanilla-y, cupcake-y scent of a lot of lip products. And it does have a pretty nice doe foot applicator that looks like it'll be easy to control. It was fairly easy to apply. I do think I'd have a little bit cleaner of a look if I used a lip liner with it, but it does look really nice and pretty. It was really thin. Now I'm just going to wait for it to dry down and see how that feels. Okay, so it has dried down. It dried down fairly quickly, I would say within 30 seconds to a minute. And when I press my lips together, like, it doesn't get all weird and it's not like getting all cracked or anything quite yet, but it is emphasizing my lines in my lips. I don't know if you can see that, but it is still pretty comfortable. It's not too drying and tight, but it is emphasizing those lines. Once again, this is One Wish from the Kylie Holiday Trio. Okay, so it removes fairly easy with a makeup wipe. I don't know if I would have let it set longer how it would remove, but I have heard stories of Kylie matte lips not coming off very easily, and this is coming off really easily with a makeup wipe. Next, I'm going to apply Posy K the Velvet. It has that same scent and the same doe foot applicator. So this is Posy K. It hasn't dried down yet, but I think this is a really pretty color. I like it even better than One Wish. One Wish is more of a like peachy nude, and I don't find those as flattering on my skin tone. And this is like a mauvey pink, which I do find really flattering on me, and I really like them. So I do prefer the color on this one, but let me let it dry down and see what the velvet finish looks like. Okay, so Posy K has dried down, and I forgot to test if One Wish was transfer proof, but let me test if the velvet is transfer proof. It is definitely not, and it still emphasizes the lines on my lips a lot, but it does look a lot more hydrated than the other one looks, and it feels a little more comfortable. Not that this one was uncomfortable, but this one is more comfortable, so I think I like the Velvet formula better than the matte formula. Once again, this is Posy K from the Kylie Holiday Lip Trio. Okay, so that one, Posy K does stain the lips. So I'm gonna have a stain on my lips when I go to apply the gloss. I, I do apologize for that, I didn't even think of that. All right, last but not least, we are applying the Gloss Cupcake, which I'm in love with the name. And Cupcake has a brush tip applicator. It has a similar scent but it's slightly different but I'm not good with scents so I can't tell you how it's slightly different. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a fairly thick and opaque gloss it's looking like. Okay so this is Cupcake the gloss. 
I might have laid it on a little heavy because it's getting on my teeth now. <laughs> but I don't like the color at all on me. I don't. I think I might like it a top, like one wish. I think these would pair really well together. But on its own, I'm not a fan of the color. It does have a really intense shine and opaque color, and I really like that. And it's not too sticky, but it feels kind of movable. Like if if I'm moving my lips around a lot, it'll get outside my lip line and create a mess on my face. But it's it's not a bad lip gloss formula. It's just not my favorite. Once again, this is the Cupcake Gloss from the Kylie Holiday Lip Trio. So that was all three lip products from the Kylie Holiday Lip Trio collection that I got at Ulta. It is a $48 value for $36. And I was giving you my thoughts and first impressions as I was applying them and letting them sit for a little bit and dry down. And do I think this is worth $36? I mean, considering that you get three full-size lip products, I think, yes, it's worth the price, but now having tried them on, would I, would I repurchase this for $36? No, I don't really like them that much. They're okay. I would say these are like drugstore quality. These are not high-end pricing to me. I would compare these to Wet n Wild or Maybelline as far as liquid lipsticks go. And as far as the gloss goes, I would definitely compare it to my Wet n Wild glosses. That's not to say that Wet n Wild and Maybelline aren't good. It's just that there's a quality difference generally between the drugstore and high-end. And I think they are charging high-end prices for drugstore quality lip products here. So I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm glad I didn't get caught up in the hype earlier with Kylie and, you know, buy a bunch of things other than this one lip kit because I, I'm a little bit disappointed. Like, these are not high-end pricing quality to me. I did put back on Posey K, the velvet one, and I really like the color, but just... The formula is not super impressive to me for the price. Like I feel my Maybelline, I feel like my Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink liquid lipstick is the same quality as these. And this is a heck of a lot cheaper. So I do not recommend this product unless you're a huge fan already of the Kylie formulas. But if you've never tried them before, and you're thinking about starting with this, I would say you'll probably be disappointed. Especially if your taste in liquid lipstick is more towards mine, where you prefer something more moussey, more hydrating, something like Dose of Colors, Bare Minerals, Smashbox. Those are the liquid lipsticks I prefer, and these do not make the cut. Let me know your thoughts on Kylie products in the description box down below. I'd love to hear what you all think and if there are any other Kylie products I should give a go because I know there's a lot more to the brand than just their lip products. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already and I will see you guys next time. Bye!